to my liberal friends out there, all you're doing is showing that you're scared you can't beat them on the issues and the merits. That's why he keeps saying it's a political campaign against me. That's why he keeps saying they can't beat me at the election, at the polls. This is the only way they could do it. And if you don't put him in jail and he still goes from being the presumptive GOP nominee to the official GOP nominee and he goes to the polls, even though he was going to whine about winning and being being rigged again, you have given more fodder to that argument. Which means we'll never have peace in this country because tens of millions of people see what extent. The other side is willing to go through just to keep him out of office because they can't beat him on their own merits. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. All right. That's right. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Excuse me. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. I remember when I was younger and I was trying to find my, my political party who I identify with. And when I'm doing my little homework, I see that the Republican party was the party that freed the slaves. Okay. What? And when I will tell people that, you know, that I will get, you know, pushback and they'll say, no, 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 the party switch. And the Republicans now or Democrats back then and, all that, right? And I say, wait a minute, the whole party switch? I mean, everybody, the whole, see, that's a lie. And they love saying that. They'll talk about the reconstruction years, the whole party switch. And that's a lie. All right. People switch parties all the time. You know, you might be a young Democrat. And then when you get a little older, you switch parties. We have politicians that switch party. <clears throat> Reagan. Reagan was a Democrat when he was the governor of California. When he ran for president, he went Republican. Even Trump. Trump was a Democrat in New York. And then he switched parties. Even Elizabeth Warren, her monkey ass, she was a Republican before she switched parties. So people switch parties all the time. But I haven't seen so many people switch parties at once. It's like the, everybody is doing it now. It's like the end thing. We have The Rock, who says he regret voting for or sponsoring Joe Biden. We have uh, Joe Rogan, another one. We have Stephen A. Smith. I'm still not sure about him, but he's talking a lot like he's about to switch parties. We have um, Elon Musk, another one, another one who is... He left the plantation. He went to bought Twitter and he's freeing a lot of people up. Right. What else? Snoop Dogg. There's a lot of people switching parts. Those are the celebrities. We have athletes, but nothing flooded my hearts better is when you see a political talking head who lose their mind live on television. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a post about Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks. And she just, oops, lose her mind. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, Jake? Right. What are we doing? What are we doing? Someone tell me, what the f are we doing? And so now we got the co-host, Sink. This guy here, I man, I'm telling you, ever since I've been watching this, I this guy, the most stubborn prick that I know. And now... He says that he's not going to vote for Biden because of this. 
and I'm disgusted by it, and any decent person should be disgusted by it. So what am I supposed to say? Like, oh, Joe Biden's so great. No, I don't do propaganda. Joe Biden sucks, and his corruption is the same as all of the establishment Democrats and establishment Republicans. They take hundreds of millions, actually, in the case of Biden, billions of dollars in corporate campaign contributions and pretend that the contributions don't uh, matter to them. So I I'm not ever going to grab pom-poms and cheerlead for Joe Biden. Now, in terms of RFK Jr., I'm not saying I'm going to vote for him. I'm saying I have begun to consider it. He's he's crazy on vaccines and conspiracy theories, etc. At the same time, he doesn't come in with a giant amount of corruption baggage like Biden and Trump do. So that's just reality. And then where does that leave me? I don't know. I'm going to see how the campaign plays. You don't say, Sink. <laughs> it's about time. But it gets even worse. You have said that Joe Biden has been, quote, corrupt his whole life. I mean, what evidence do you have that Joe Biden is corrupt? 100% corrupt. I have overwhelming evidence. But I don't want people to think that I'm picking on Joe Biden as he's the only politician who's corrupt or that he's personally corrupt. I'm talking about systemic corruption. The problem with Donald Trump is he's personally corrupt and he can't wait to take money from Saudi Arabia and all these other places. We get that. We all understand that, right? But when it comes to Biden, People in mainstream media and the Democratic Party make what I view to be a totally insane statement, which is, no, he might have taken a billion dollars from corporate contributions, but he doesn't owe them any favors. And he doesn't let those donors affect them at all. Look, that's just nuts. Man, hearing all of this makes my heart flutter. It gives me the warm and fuzzies. Watching them having a meltdown, watching their brain starting to click and starting to get it. Took some time, took some time, but come on in, come on the Trump train. <laughs> you don't have to vote for Trump. I get it. You don't have to vote for Trump. Stay at home. If you don't like the candidate, stay at home. Okay. No. Now, what is more delicious now is seeing Joe Scarborough having a conniption. This is funny. Let's go. Okay, we just went through the numbers. United States military, by far stronger relative to the rest of the world than any time since 1945. Our economy stronger than it's been relative to the rest of the world, probably since 1945. Really, Joe? The strongest military? Man, recruitment been down almost 20% since Joe Biden been in. And you letting all these weird trans folks coming in. The morale of the military have dropped. Nobody's joined the military like that. But anyway, come on. We are so much more powerful, so much stronger than we have ever been. Iran, why did Iran do what Iran did, knowing what the outcome was going to be? Because they didn't want to screw with the United States of America. <laughs> Seriously, Joe, Iran did what they did because Joe said don't. And they test Joe. That's why they did it. Come on. Mr. President, what is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. Or else our America we are so much more powerful, so much stronger than we have ever been. And you're voting for a guy that tells you every day that America sucks? What's wrong with you? Who raised you? Mm -hmm. What about this? What about Obama? You forgot about this? I don't want a continuation of Bush Cheney. I don't want Bush Cheney light. I want a fundamental change. You don't read. Because if you read, Mike, the facts are clear. And I'm getting tired of saying this to people who claim to be patriotic but hate America because they're always running America down. They're always trashing America. They're always saying America's horrible. Its democracy doesn't work. We need a dictatorship if Donald Trump doesn't win. What about these folks, Joe? How about these folks here? Homegrown terrorists talk about death to America death to Israel. Are you going to say that to them? Nah, nah, nah. You wouldn't dare. We can get a Mar Bar Amrita. Yes, we can. Oh. Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! I mean, this is a world they give their viewers anything to try to make America look bad. They are obsessed. <laughs> there it goes right there. There it goes. He just popped his lid. Love it. So what do they do? They find a trans athlete in Utah. 
to the world's, the world's coming to an end. Help us, Jesus. The country, country ain't the country I was raised in. No, it's better. It's stronger. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all the Christians' fault. It's all the Mormons' fault. Yeah, we talk about a trans athlete. And this is what you want to focus on. Yep. Yep. It's all Jesus' fault. But you would never know this because they are fed a steady stream of hate America first rhetoric, which I suppose is why you have the chairman of the House GOP saying that some of those dupes, backbenchers, are actually clinging to pro-Russian propaganda and spreading it. Sure, Joe. Sure, Joe. Everything is fine. The economy is fine. Gas prices is fine. The military is fine. Ukraine is fine. Israel is fine. Everything is A-OK -okay under Joe Biden. Nothing is going on, right? Inflation is OK. Our IRAs. Everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I'm glad everybody can see you having a conniption. <laughs> anyway, guys, before we go, do not wait till November to vote. If your state is one of early states to vote, make sure you vote early. Okay, do not wait till November because anything can happen. All right. If you're able to vote early, do it early and bring a friend. If you want to do mail order, if you want to vote by mail, do that early also. All right, get it out the way, send it in, and just make sure you get a receipt. All right, this election is going to be too big to rig. We have so many people on board. The Hispanics are on board. The blacks are on board. The whites are on board. Everybody's on board now. And we cannot let Zuckerberg no. mess around with the numbers again, okay? Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn. <laughs>